This video is sponsored by the wonderful Squarespace. Good morning guys. Starting today with a little snack because it's going to be a bit of a long one. Well, I hope it's going to be a long one anyway. I've got a few things being delivered and I really want to make maybe a little bit prematurely, but the lounges that we had delivered in the last video, I want to put them together and get them out in the garden. I'm ready to enjoy it now. Typically, we've just had this period here in the UK where we've had a heat wave. It's been like beautiful 29 degrees and now the rain's coming and that's when I'm getting the lounges out, but I'm hopeful that the sun's gonna come back. We also have got in the trellis panels, which I'll show you. And what I really want to achieve this week in this week's video is making a table for the outside. So kind of like this is gonna be a bit of a temporary table. I know I said that we were gonna put this dining room table outside, but we don't currently have another dining room table. And so I don't want to remove this one until we have another one. So I'm thinking of doing a scaffolding board table. Now we have done this maybe like five or six years ago, Ollie and I made a scaffolding bench. So we're gonna be putting that outside and I wanna make a table to match. I'll show you that now. You'll have to excuse the mess and the dirt everywhere at the moment, but you know, we're doing a garden makeover. Anyway, this is the bench. So it's, uh, this has three scaffolding boards. <laughs> Sorry about the apple, so random. And these hairpin legs. Now I don't love the hairpin legs anymore, as in like the style. They're okay, they're probably a little bit too industrial for my liking, but I'm still gonna go with them. Simply because I've looked at some other metal legs and I much prefer these like square ones. I'll try and put a picture up here. But they're about 100, 120 pounds, whereas the hairpin legs for the table, I think we're only 40, 40 pounds on Amazon and they're coming today. So job done, easy. I just need to get the scaffolding boards. Oh, now that's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. I think that, is that a bird? Anyway, um, because I want them sooner rather than later and delivery obviously takes some time. So we might have to go and collect them and we only have a mini. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, that is the plan for this week. Come along, relax, grab a drink, and hopefully enjoy. way heavier than I was expecting. I'm so glad that I went for one with wheels so that once it's out there I can wheel it around. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna get, be able to get it to the garden. Probably will try it. Ignore the mess to the left. But here is where these will go. Oh my gosh. We have a garden that can take lounges. It is so exciting. Um, so yeah, I think this space is where the lounges are gonna go. Did I mention earlier? I've got a little table arriving today to go in the middle of there. And then this is, not all of them, but this is the trellis thing that we're going for. And I was gonna paint it colour. This is actually from a cheaper company than the company I mentioned in my previous videos. I was going to paint it colour, but now I'm thinking maybe to keep this gorgeous wood colour. It does just tie into the garden so nicely, so maybe I need to go out and try and find a stain for this. I've pretty much just spent nearly an hour packing away all of the cardboard, um, cutting it all down so that I can take it to the recycling centre. And then I'm just going to tidy away this room a little bit. But I think my next job Today, whilst I'm on the hunt for the scaffolding boards, um, I've got a few people that I've called to hopefully collect it or perhaps get it delivered, but I'm not getting a clear answer. I often find, which I hate, that if Ollie speaks to them, he gets a much better, clearer answer. They don't necessarily take me seriously, but anyway, 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna fill the skip. Did I say that's what I'm doing now? I think the next job that I'm gonna do is fill the skip. And I'm not sure that's gonna be that interesting for you guys to watch. So I'm just gonna show you a little before and hopefully an after. So this is the current state of our alleyway. Actually, this is all soil and I'm hoping that people might come and collect that. So I need to pop that online, but this is the pile that I need to get rid of. It is just three o'clock and this is where I've got to. I'm hoping you can see a difference. I've basically nearly done all of the bricks and my gosh, doesn't it look a terrible mess? Um, I've got one more load. I can't pick these up. I'm just starting here to organize the glass. That needs to go to the recycling center, um, but I can't find a box big enough to put these in, like big enough and heavy enough, like we'll take the weight. And I so want to take this one down today. Just in the mood want to get it gone but I am hot sweaty messy so I'm gonna have a lollipop and a sit down for a second unfortunately the weather's been so hot and I think it's gonna rain tomorrow when I'm trying to figure out whether I would rather do this in the heat or the rain I think I'm going for the heat <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna keep going as long as I can you know when you stop you just can't get back up again um and that's been me for the last hour i sat down and looked at my emails and i was just like i cannot get back up again but the door just went and the table arrived so i'm up and i'm hopefully gonna start moving again but i thought that i'd open this one with you guys um whilst i was on my laptop i did check the weather and apparently there's like flash floods coming so i'm really glad that i built this and i just got them outside don't know whether to bring them back inside again, but yeah, bit of weather chat. That's why us Brits talk about the weather all of the time because we have the extremes and typically never just have that perfect weather day. Ooh, it's a pretty color actually. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more creamy, but it's definitely like a light CG green. And I think I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Is this the heat or is this another parcel? No, that's another parcel. I got that wrong. <laughs> this is the feet inside of it. I thought this was kind of clever though because I didn't know whether we could use this just generally as a tray while we're down there because obviously it's quite away from the house. So I don't know, thought that could be a possibility. And it wasn't a bad price. I think it was like 35 pounds. So not bad. Oh, so easy to set up. That is very sweet. I mean, easiest table to build ever. That's it done. You didn't even come with any screws or anything. You just literally pop it on the top. We'll see what it looks like outside. It's super dark in the um, kitchen at the moment because the light's not coming through here. So I'll sort of show you, um, well, actually maybe not today because <laughs> it's gonna be raining for the rest of the week. But there you go. Probably keep it inside for now just to be safe. And the other parcel were the um, hairpin legs. These are the bench legs, so these are the shorter ones. Um, I'm hoping to make another bench to go on the other side of the table, but I've still not found the scaffolding boards. So um, yeah, got the legs, but not the top. Ollie's home, he's holding the camera up. I've made all the bricks today, now he's gonna do some of the rubble at the back of the house but I have waited two and a half years to get rid of this thing. Um, it was a meat cooler back in the day, but obviously we're not gonna use it as a fridge anymore, so the same with that thing. That came out way too easily. So much better. Oh, it's gonna really open up this space. All oh, the little things that make me happy, but that makes me so happy. It does look so much better. 
we are up bright and early this morning because we're gonna have a busy one hopefully and an exciting one. Gramps is coming over with the door that he's made us for the back shed and he's gonna be popping that one in. We are starting on the pointing of the back wall, which means that we can then get the fencing up and do the borders and plant the plants, which is just gonna feel so good. And we also have some more deliveries coming today. It's really all starting to come together. But if you guys want to know about anything from the tools that we've used to just seeing the garden transformation, the plants that we're putting in, all the furniture, I'm going to be updating my blog post, which I did a while ago, so you can see the full transformation over there. Which actually leads me really nicely onto my website and today's sponsor, Squarespace. As you guys know, I run my website through them and absolutely love it. But if you don't know who they are, they are the all-in-one website building platform. They have thousands of award-winning templates to pick from to make it super easy for you to design and control your own website without having to get anybody in to do that work for you. But equally, you can have it as personal and bespoke to you as you want by making tweaks and changes. I've had mine for over six months now and just love that I have full control of it and can go in there, go into the back end, change up the blog posts, update them, schedule them, set them for when I want. But I also use my website generally for my brand. So I have a contact page. I also have a little about page so you can get to know me, easy links to my emails to get in touch and also my social accounts, which is really important, but it's so nice that I have a platform which is totally my own that isn't run by anybody else. And in the future, if I want to change and update it to an e-commerce site, I can do that, whether you're looking for something that's just a portfolio to put your work, a business page, an e-commerce site, whatever you may be looking for, Squarespace have the website for you. They do a free trial, which makes it so simple. You can go into the back end, check it out, see how you like it. And if and when you are ready to go live, you can use my link, which I will put on screen here, but I'll also put in the description below, which gives you 10% off your first website or domain. I would highly, highly recommend. You guys know that I love them and um, really enjoy my website. So check it out if you want to. For now, we will get into the garden, get cracking with our day, and I will leave my blog post below so you can also check that out. Ollie is just mixing up the material here. We are using the lime that we had left over and also some golden sand. We did try some red sand the other day because we have a nice red brick, but it just went pink, so we're thinking stick with the gold because we don't want it pink. I think that's about the right texture. Could be a little bit wetter but it's probably going to get a bit more fatty in the next like 20 minutes. It's a bit fatty hey? Yeah. Is that how we explain things? That's the technical term. Is it? What does that mean fatty? To me that's just like... I don't know you kind of like when you like slap it mm. it gets a bit liquidy and jelly like. Jelly like. You need but it jelly like. If you put too much water in it will go too soft. And that's fatty, or that's fatty. That's like not quite fatty Who's enough. fatty? Okay. But if we leave it 15 minutes, it'll get more fatty. It's a bit weird. Right, I have no idea what we were just talking about, but okay. <laughs> we are putting this in a gun to hopefully speed up the process, but I'll show you when I get to that. I have cleaned out the whole of this wall. I've just been doing that with um, wire brushes. I'm not doing the bottom of this one because um, we're not planting over here just yet, but literally just been using this to brush it all out, clean it all up, rake out any little bits, and we're ready to go. We've now got this super cute little scoop. So this is the gun that we're gonna be putting it into the wall with. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, sorry, I was watching it and I wasn't actually filming it. <laughs> we pop that in there. Feels like I'm back in um, pre prep yeah, playing with like Play-Doh play or something. Yeah, in the sand pit or something. <laughs> um, and then we've also got these different... Are we going to be using this one? No, no, no. The, no? Um, okay. the big red angle, I think. Oh, okay. This thing. We've not been too precious about this bit here because it's going to be hidden behind these. <laughs> and that's Graham's behind fixing that door, by the way. Da, da, da. So I was just showing me how to do it and then I'm gonna give it a go. So kind of like if you just wedge it in, there's yeah. a line where it stops. Yeah, yeah. And then just squeeze until it starts to like come out and then just move it. 
unfortunately this thing was rubbish it just squished all the water out and we ended up with a little block inside the tube so we're back to the old-fashioned way and Laura is our professional don't look at this way this is the unneed bit it neaters over time plasterer <laughs> wet worker so it's looking a bit scruffy right now but that's because the walls need a bit of a wipe down and a sponge but you've done this before with amazing results so I will neat it by the end but I'm definitely scruffy to begin with <laughs> I mean, you can put it on a time lapse and you won't actually be able to see until hopefully it's looking a bit neater. Okay, it is much, much, much later. <laughs> um, it's taken its time. You can kind of see I've done this section here and then I've moved on to do this run because this trellis is gonna come down on this wall. It's gonna sit like from down here up. Um, so I really wanted to prioritize getting that done. So I'm gonna end um, finishing this wall. You can kind of see here a little bit the before and after so that's what it looks like before oh my gosh can you see that humongous spider there have been a load in this wall um this still needs to be neatened off and washed off and it obviously won't be so white in the end um but we're gonna have to let it set before i can rub it all down and then ollie is gonna start putting the trellising up over on this side because he has been digging down these beds quite a little way because we're getting new soil to go in here just to make sure it's definitely the right stuff because on this side especially it was a path there wasn't like really soil in here so we're doing um topsoil and compost mix and yeah he's gonna get those in soon i've roped grants in today to coming around to help me because excuse the messy window we have the scaffolding boards so we have six of them here these are what are hopefully going to make our table. They don't look like a huge amount there, but it is going to be a pretty big table. I'm afraid it's super echoey in here because I've taken away the rug because we're wheelbarrowing stuff into the skip still and our soil and, you know, it was easier to put it away. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that today. I'll take you through the process. I've got my fingers crossed that it's not going to rain, but actually I think I might need a jumper. Grass is now measuring up. We decided to cut it to 2.8 meters, wasn't it, instead? Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a bit big, I think. Um, and then you guys might remember these. These were the ones that we were gonna use for the shelves and they are just about the perfect size to go along the bottom of these and hold them all together. Um, so we've got three of those, haven't we? You putting three on or only two? Three, well, I'll put one in the middle later on. In the middle two. The two ends first and so both ends to the right banks. Yeah. And then we'll get Superman in to move it for us. Superman meaning off. It's a shame it's raining because actually this is a really easy process. You literally just get the boards together and then we're going to screw these down onto here to hold them all in place. As Gramps was saying, we're going to do three and then the legs will just screw into these and they're the hairpin legs. They're actually outside at the moment, so I hope they're okay. But over time, I'm sure they'll go rusty. 
and then you can obviously sand it and protect it or stain it in whatever you like but this would be whipped up literally well maybe not even in a day in, in a morning <laughs> vlog may have been a little bit choppy I'm sorry if it has but I have been desperately trying to get a few things finished off for Ollie's birthday so it's his birthday the beginning of August and actually next week there won't be a video from me because we are taking a week off we're gonna celebrate his birthday and we're in London for a few days um, and then we're coming back and having a really nice family party fingers crossed in the garden so that is why I have been trying to get everything sorted, organized, so the house isn't a tip and the garden isn't a tip. Um, so I'll update you with where we got with everything. But the table got cut a little bit short and that is because it is so heavy, so unbelievably heavy. One lesson learned, if you're wanting to build a scaffolding board table, absolutely do it they are so easy i mean gramps was here to help me but i hope you won't mind me saying this he's 84 gramps is 84 i mean what an absolute champ i can't believe how well he still can do his diy and building um but he came in and helped me with the table and um yeah you literally just have to like clamp all the boards together um screw in another board to the back to support them all and pop on your legs it's super simple if you want something kind of easy and temporary and the other great thing with it is is that if a bit like us you're having a party and then you might want to take it down you can just unscrew the back change the planks up a little bit cut them if you want and adapt it over time or years or as i say have it for a party and then have it smaller afterwards but my gosh when you put those boards together it is so heavy like i'd say ollie and i are like pretty strong but my hands like physically it was digging into my skin I like I just couldn't hold it up so we wheeled it halfway down the garden and now I think we're waiting for um hopefully my brother and dad to maybe come and help put it right to the end of the garden but I'll show you where it is it's looking really good it does need a sand um maybe even a bit of a plane and then a stain but I've run out of time to do that for a party so I'm just gonna I'm putting a tablecloth on it anyway so that'll be fine we've also filled the skip and my mum came yesterday so the day after Gramps was here to help with the garden and she was just an absolute trooper too and just transformed the space with me it was amazing we've had so much family support this week and it's really meant the world to me because yeah there's been a lot to do and it suddenly feels like it's all coming together and it's a little bit more calm so anyway let me show you i'll also give you a little sneak peek update of the garden because you guys are my long-term subscribers you can have a little sneak peek of how it's going until it's revealed obviously we're going to enjoy it for ollie's birthday and then we'll do all of the finishing touches later on i mean it'll be done for autumn hey <laughs> this is our skip oh my gosh it's being collected today I'm a little bit nervous, but I hope it goes okay. I needed all the boxes yesterday, so they're all looking nice. Constantly in the process of dextering the whole house so that dirt doesn't go all over the place. Let me get my shoes on and take you outside. It's so windy, but here she is. Hope you can hear me. So we've got six planks along the top and they're 2.8 meters long, so it would easily fit two people on each end. And then, I mean, my gosh, 
probably four people, so maybe we'll fit about 12 all together. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. I mean, for reference, that's huge. Um, and then this is what it looks like underneath, so you can see it kind of together. We've got the three planks that we screwed in. And then these are the hairpin legs, so we actually had to put these out here. It was a little bit of a cuff baffle, <laughs> um, but they are taking the weight, which is amazing. And they're literally just screwed into here, which is super easy. And um, I'll link the ones that I got below. Oh my gosh, can you hear the wind? And then Grant's cleverly picked up these from the tip shop because it's so heavy. We were a bit worried about the weight on these and the ground back there. So this will disperse it a little bit. So we'll put those on when it goes to the back. And then my wonderful mum helped me level all of this, which goes all the way back here in the corner. And we put reed membrane down, which obviously we still haven't neatened off yet. Um, and this bark to put pots over it, which is so, cool. looks so nice. And then we've got the beds here. And we did these on the back wall too. And to keep it really carefree for now, I've also weed membraned and barked over these. So yeah, looking so much prettier. And if you can imagine the table up here to some beautiful candles and fairy lights, it's all coming together. And Ollie started to dig out, or he dug out the beds over this side where we're going to spread out with the jasmine and then he's also got to do this bit here and then we do have to finish off the wall but I think we will do that at a later date because at least for now we can get the fencing up obviously when this is all washed off and neatened yeah it is definitely looking neater and just level oh, I love how level the garden is now So although we're not finished, we are able to enjoy it now, able to have people over, able to host. That's a lot down to having family help this week, which I really, really appreciate. I feel like it's really moved things forward and I'm so looking forward to Ollie's birthday and being able to go out there and just have a really hopefully nice evening. Fingers crossed. Let's hope it doesn't rain. Um, anyway. I will be not seeing you next week, but the week after. If you want to know what we're getting up to, then head over to my Instagram because I will be updating that. I'll still be filming and um, uploading to Instagram and stuff. I just won't be uploading a video next week, but I will see you in the next one. And I think that's about it. I think that's everything wrapped up. Um, yeah, I will see you then. I hope you're well, guys, and having a nice week.